Anybody think that could be a song beat? I used to do this all the time. Listen. <laughs> and then you go backwards and it's a different beat. <laughs> Just listen. Oh, I'm obnoxious, but hey everybody, it's United Gamer 101 here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Slide 3 on Among Thieves. In the last part, we completed two slide missions, and this part we only have one waypoint to do, and it's bitly, so let's see what we have to do here. Hey, Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hotwired by the time I get there. Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. Yeah, this is what makes classic games awesome. Just, you know, these little mini games just like this. They're just, you know, just really fun to play. You know, they're not really that difficult or anything. They, they just, they're just fun. I, I mean, I always love things like this. And, you know, like, Jack and Daxter has stuff like this. Like the Jack and Daxter, you know, the first one, you know, you gotta catch the fish. I always thought that was really fun. And just stuff like this. It's just very fun to do. Not many newer games have stuff like this. It's just a storyline with, like real looking people graphics. <laughs> That's really what they mainly consist of, or a multiplayer of just shooting guns. And you know those reference points, but I'm doing a terrible job of driving right now. But who cares, it's a video game, you don't need to drive good. Uh, but this really mission's really easy, uh, easy. <laughs> really easy to do. Um, really, I'm not really paying attention right now, that's why I'm not really focused on being a great driver. And that's why I'm already lost half of my health. But there goes one of the guys. And, you know, then pretty much, wow, did I really just jump into a bridge and I'm really about to lose this? I, I, can, I see how easy it is, and then I'm about to fail it. Alright, we got it, we got it. Well, I got it, you know. <laughs> no, it's a let's play, it's let us play, that's what it is. Alright, so I'm trying to make sure, I'm trying to focus now, at the same time, not, you know, just not die. Then at the same time, just trying to have fun playing a classic game. Alright, only one more to go, and he has a lot more health than I do. Luckily, they don't shoot at you. Trying to make sure. Okay. He's pretty agile. Let the gun recover. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. I didn't see that coming. It dropped it right on me. That's not fair. Let the gun heal up. There we go. Don't miss now. He's so close to being dead. That should be it. That should be it. No! Did you see how close he was? I can't believe we're at a round two. It's like the easiest mini game in the world. It's no, it takes no skill whatsoever. I bet I can do it with not getting hit. I'm not gonna try that because I'll, if I lose the bed, then, well, that's gonna suck. If I was really focused and trying, tr going try hard in a classic game, then yeah, I could do it. But yeah, that's not what a let's play is to me. Let's play is just having fun. All right, so let's get it done. Though I don't want to fail again. Okay, I'm actually gonna try pretty hard this time. No. Okay, I got hit once, so I lost a bet. Now I'm getting hit again. Okay, it's fine. Well, I don't think they expect you to do it perfectly either, even though it takes not really a ton of skill to do it. It's really hot in my room right now. I'm, I'm recording this. It's like so hot in my room. I want to get up and turn my fan off, but I already started the part, so I can't. It's so hot. But it's, it's okay. I can still complete this. Maybe I failed. Maybe you, you don't even know, guys. Maybe I failed on it just so I could play it again. No, I didn't. But that'd be a really good excuse. But there's two of them. Uh, technically, we're playing as two characters right now. If you think about it, we're playing as Sly and Bentley. And with it ease, we finish it. Way to go. That's the end of the blue fight. Look at Bentley's face. <laughs> Another uneventful patrol. This city is beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I 
I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look, I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. Job complete by Bentley. Well done, Bentley. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard, so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincenetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs. All right, so we have a ton of quests we actually need to accomplish, but it's Venice Operation Day 2. Um, a lot of fun missions are in this one. I don't like the Carmelita one, matter of fact. I do like the Murray. I love the Murray one. Um, and this is actually where Sly first originated when they started doing costumes, like, um, what's it called, like, just disguising yourself. And that actually is going to take part in Sly, th uh, Sly 4 Season Time. Uh, it's, I think it's kind of cool how they took different things from different games. Uh, they, the two, they took the um, Sly 2 for the most part, and they had bottles that were in Sly 2, and then they had the disguises that are in Sly uh, 3. Or, yeah. So, um, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's do... Let's turf for No, let's do guard duty. Octavio keeps the blueprints to his main tar pumping station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. It's not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise can be a side All right, so it's a pretty self-explanatory mission. Uh, you needed to disguise yourself and then find the code. Uh, he'll, Bentley will send you a code, and then when you'll just uh, guard, unlock the door, sure and then Bentley will come in. And say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up. Hey, you! Vacuum room password. I love how I just cut Bentley off. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Yep. Okay, I guess you're the relief shift. Thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for tonight. Carnival, good times, eh? I can't believe that worked! You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard! No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. I thought his Italian sense, uh, accent was quite clever. Um, I know this is kind of late to point out, but did anybody else notice and rem or they probably noticed this when you're younger that Carmelita's voice acting in this game in this game is honestly the worst out of all three. I don't know. I just don't like it compared to like Sly 2 and whatnot. They changed her voice in every single game, but luckily I remember these is right there. The is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but sure to be there. I already got it, Sly. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in the next one, I'm gonna be like, all right, can anybody guess where it's gonna be or know where it's gonna be? And then if you get it, congratulations, comment below. We got Venus Blueprint number one. <laughs> Strong I had to add the voice for the little Bentley's face. It doesn't matter. Just get out of here, Bentley. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. All right, so we gotta go take on, I think there's three of them in the last one you gotta do a nickname. See, I, I remember a lot of my game. I just, just names. I'm bad with names, I guess. <laughs> All right, but we gotta find the same exact thing pretty much, but a different code. Hey, you. What's the midnight password? Transmitting password. Auto base, auto, auto. Yep. Oh, am I glad you're here. Mama's making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates full. I guess that you really like her cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a have. Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. I would like to point out I will also be having spaghetti tonight. You no, know, <laughs> you know, after this recording, I'm going to go have some spaghetti. All right, so where is this one? Does anybody see it? Does anybody see it? I already see it. I don't know where it is. But does anybody see it? All right, I'm just going to scroll. If you know where it is, comment below. Just say painting number two and what the code is. Well, you, well, technically you could cheat after I say what it is, but here it is. It's nine, six, eight. All right, so now you know you got the idea. I wanna. I'm, what I'm gonna do is for the next one is I'm gonna cut out me typing in the code, so you have no idea what it is, and you can comment below. And if you guess it right, congratulations. <laughs> All right, two out of three. Almost there, partner. That way you can't cheat. I just saw that in the middle of doing that, so I'm gonna do that. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right, we got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. That's less angry like me. <laughs> Alright, so you heard my game plan, so we're gonna do this time. This time we actually have to uh, get his uh, nickname, which... Let's see if you can remember that. Comment below. I think it's like I can't remember. I know he wants to big killer Tony or something. His name's Tony. I remember that. Uh, we'll find out. Oh. Holt, what's Octavio's house password? Sending password now. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano. Yep. Yeah, you know the code, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one of Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new, uh, just got called in from Rome. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. Could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area, and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. You there! 
vacuum room password? A vacuum right, room password? Here you go. Okay. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Okay. Okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, a egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him. Don't want to know. I'm pretty sure it's the second guy you see tells you. That's how it was for me. I don't, I don't want to talk to a bird though. I'm pretty sure like, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but last time I talked to an actual big guard and he knew, so uh, I'm just guessing. I don't get why I can't just knock them out of the way and then open the door, really. Uh, it should be right around here. Oh my god. Where's a big guard that has like flashlight? Oh, I see one. There he is. We're gonna ask him. No! Here, okay, there you go. You shot me. Hey, you! What's the midnight password? Transmitting password. Alto base, alto, alto. Sorry about that. Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget it, you know. You and me about that. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's nickname is? Ha 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 Yeah, that fathead likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I was right. Oh, how you're clever, sucker punch with names. <laughs> Tony, the killer B. He needs to go eat some spaghetti. I already talked to you like five seconds ago. Well, if you can't tell I'm a raccoon in the first place, I guess you can't remember stuff. Tenor best, tenor, tenor. Okay. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's a heard of Tony the Killer B. You're a the terror of every a player grounder from here at the Sicily. Ha ha ha, real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Okay, so he does remember us. That's odd. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. Oh, another part I really loved in the Sly game was uh, when you got a pirate talk with the guys on like that island. I loved that one. You got you can't say the same thing. I thought it was really fun. All right, guys. So you heard the rules you earlier. If you didn't, I am going to like look around, and you guys out. get the You're code. Then yes, I'm gonna cut out me posting the code though. So I'm gonna get you just one run through, just one. All right, ready? There goes that, that, and that. If you didn't see it, I'm sorry. So, guys, put it in the comment. What did? What is the code? <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. We got the finished blueprint number three, and it's setting off alarm apparently, and we already got bad damage. Uh, but there you go. So if you got that right, congratulations. I don't know what you're gonna earn, but you'll. I'll, I'll figure out something. I'll just congratulate you. <laughs> Let's leave this place. We need to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agree. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. We actually gotta run on the way back. Are you kidding? Okay. Well, I'm on low health. That's fine. I guess this gives me time to say thank you guys for another watching another episode of Let's Play Sly 3 on Among Thieves. In the next part, we're just going to continue on doing some awesome missions and reliving the nostalgicness. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. Comment below, leave some feedback. Leave a like if you like the episode. It really helps out. It means a lot. There's love reading the feedback. Uh, love reading the feedback. Feedback. I can't even talk right now. I'm trying to run away and save the day ah, the safety the <laughs> but uh, yeah guys yeah, I love reading the feedback there we go uh, but in the next part we're gonna just continue on doing some missions I really love the uh, Murray mission uh, which is Tarble I believe 
Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do that. So this is Johnny Gamer here, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.